What is up, Rassonians? Jason and I are continuing our... Uh, where is the source? Source. Okay. Jason and I are continuing our standard battle where we are uh, just kind of built some tribally um, fun times standard decks. We took them into Scrubland, we play tested, and now we are going to play them against each other and see how it goes. Um... Oop, there's gonna be some pounding because the booters is up and I can't get to him now. Um, so, uh, the deck I'm gonna play today is not my favorite deck. It's, it's, I don't know. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Um, this is my favorite deck, so I'm waiting to play that until later. So I guess the next time we meet, I've only got this and this to play. Um, and we're just kind of working our way through. Best two out of three. Um, okay, I'll stop rambling. I'll stop rambling. Ooh, unmute, mute, unmute. Ugh. What's up? What's up, Jason? <laughs> just over here rambling. Uh, what do you mean you're over my rambling? No, I'm over here rambling. I'm just over here oh. just like... Blah, you're blah, over blah. there rambling, not over... Not over I... your rambling. Never would I be over your rambling. My rambling Ramble on. Support. It's because I'm a rambling man. That's right. I was saying how this isn't my favorite deck. Um, it actually did okay in playtesting, but um, it's not great. Fair. I think it could be improved upon. And I'm sure you will have many ideas for how it could be improved upon. Mayhaps. Definitely no. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? Definitely no. Hard no. Why would you hard know that? Hard no. <laughs> what did it do to you? Existed. It nothing to you. It existed. Oh, that's annoying. Fine. Don't take the bait. <laughs> I couldn't have killed your guy anyway. There's no bait to take. Woof. Probably that. I don't know. Okay. Do we only get seven card sideboards because we're not in, like, best of whatever? Or because it's not a tournament match? So you can still build a 15 card sideboard, but if it's not best of three, they'll only let you use so much. That's interesting. Guys, it always is going to be our game. We'll see how it goes. Is it because you just had me at 11 and now I'm at 19? Yeah. And I don't really have a way to deal with 
90% of your board. This is not fucking helpful at all. What is this? We have my own land? <laughs> no, I wanted a land. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, I fucking did that wrong, too. Oh, fuck my life. Okay. Um. Does cycling count as casting an instant or sorcery? No. Uh. If it makes you feel better, I do not currently have a way of gaining a bunch of life. I lied. <laughs> well, so that was in my hand. Mm hmm. Then you drew a and voice of the blessed? In my hand. Okay. Oh, resolve. My bad. My bad. And then I drew this. Woof. Ow, 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 ow. I hope I still keep you under 27, though. It's eight. I can't take all of it. Okay. That is exactly 12 coming at you. Can't take all of it. Poke. Poke. I mean, like, this would be fine, but this doesn't do anything for us at this juncture. I mean, what we do after this is we die nobly, but. You know, we're having a real good uh, draw there for you. What? Burn the house down. Yeah. I don't even think I'm running it. Maybe I am. I forgot about it. Because I would be stuck with a uh, Edgar, Edgar's coffin. And everything else would be dead. I think I remembered it, and I think it was, like, after we were done building. And I was like, well, fuck. Uh... Sure. Because I can. What, what? <laughs> and then poke. Poke. And then die. <laughs> I did a significant amount of poking, actually. It just was... It just didn't matter, because you did a significant amount of gaining life. But there, there was a significant amount of poking in there. Oh, you, you, you did quite a bit of poking. Yeah, because you were at 24, and then I got you down another 8. And then you... Yeah. So in, uh, and and yeah, you got in me down to 11 initially. Yeah, so in theory, dead. But not, not actually dead, because gaining life, but... All right, that makes me feel a little better. Significant amount of poke. regret this decision. Are regrets gonna happen? Significantly less regrets. 
Oh, I don't care if you kill her. Yeah. I do. I, I was care able to if that, I kill her. That righteous Valkyrie counter. This was maybe a bad hand. Well, let's be real. This is maybe a bad deck. So it doesn't. Technically, the bigger problem right now. Right meow, anyway. Rude. No, I'm not swinging. Man, last game it was like no blue. This game it's like no red. Wow. Now I wish I drew two cards. <laughs> Gosh dang. What is this, Jason stick? What are we doing over here? Put one of them into your hand. This one. You got Put five one land. Of them into your library. This one. Put one of them, exile one of them. This one. Gotta RTFC the instructions. Okay. <laughs> this. There we go. All right. Um. Probably. Oh, no, that's a that thing. That's unfortunate. Well. Take that. He will. Yeah, I know he will. I know he will. Didn't think you were going to part with that aspirant. Too short, actually, because then that could have been a thing. But and that's great, because then I can get the exile thing. So then I don't care about your voice of the blessed. But I'd be dead. So it doesn't. <laughs> so that doesn't work. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Except. 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 Bop, bop, bop. I've also got an enchantment in my hand. All right. 
I don't think I can win a third game, but I'll still play a third game. I pulled a third the third game out. Oh, true. No, I, well, I definitely don't think that this is a deck that can, uh... I would have to have some sort of god hand to get around that much life gain with this deck. There's only a little bit of life gain in this deck. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that with this deck, I'm never... I add as much life as I am when I'm playing my not life gain deck in my spirit deck. <laughs> I'm actually going to keep this. That might be wrong, but we're going to keep it. It doesn't really do what the theme of the deck is, but I think... Um... Solves. Now it dies. Yeah, now it dies. It dies while it can. Gross. Okay. It's like a twelve dollar uncommon in paper. And Library exile, I guess, because that's just not fucking happening. Um, boo. Hey, guess what? The next three cards in my thingy were not land. <laughs> Oof. -da. Yeah, it only keeps you not swinging for one turn. If that. Tappa tappa. I know. They were like, you want to spend this treasure token? And I was like, actually, I do not. But thank you for asking. Why don't you just tap it for mana? Oh, that's why. Because it gazeleth's out. Because I never play with Gazalith and I forget it. Your dudes are big. Only slightly. Only slightly. Mm hmm. So now, Ugh. I can't play decks like this, it's too many triggers. Do I have to be in full control? I'll fucking cry. Okay. Did I have to do this beforehand? No, be in full control. I am in full control. I submit one. That's fine. Does it say the next? Yeah, it says the next. So... Then you have to do it before. Wait, does it say the next? No. 
You can, you can bounce. No, it's copy. No, yeah, okay, so I resolve this. Bounce her. Now I... I have to tip a tap again. Sure. Then I... Resolve that. Then I bounce her. Copy a braid. Submit one. Auto pay. <coughs> oh, this is painful. That resolves. A braid. Yeah, Although I don't think again? you're getting the. Uh, I don't think you're getting the. Yeah, why is? Because that's a cast trigger. Because he went below twenty-seven. Oh, so it's not an untap. Okay, well that's okay. Resolve. Resolve. Why you gotta be so mean? Next. Next. No attacks. You'd okay. be so mad if that didn't go right. Oh my god, I would have fucking flipped a table. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh good, oh. another <laughs> one. I hate me. I hate my life! <laughs> Tried so hard. Uh, no blocks. <clears throat> I don't know why you had to kill my voice to the blast to begin with. <sighs> Because I tried so hard. That you did not get so far. Yeah, in the end, I can go fuck myself. Okay. <laughs> uh... Ooh, piece of candy. Yeah, gain life, good to go. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Technically, no. It's not a cleric. Or an angel. Yeah, they just get plus one, plus one counters for days. No, oh, two. Dose plus one, plus one counters. Which is enough to wreck my face. Get the oh, doesn't that count for Voice of the Blessed? Huh. No. Alright. Because I'm not gaining any life. Because it's not a cleric and it's not an angel. Fair. I thought it would make it fly. They just get plus one, plus one, not plus one, plus one counters. Okay. Correct. It's all coming together, chat. It's all coming together. Um, I can block to live, but I can't block to actually do fuck all, but we'll do it anyway. Because let's prolong my suffering. Well, I guess I really should have blocked with Rutha, but that's okay. Yeah. But ah! Dead. Okay. People could see what the concept was that game, even though it didn't actually do anything. So that makes me feel better. People could see what I was going for, you know? Yeah. Okay. So. As I told Jason before, it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, a banger deck or super duper successful. It just wanted to, like, try things and see how it goes. And, um, and that's what that deck did. It took a risk. And then it was bad. And that's okay. I guess I shouldn't even say bad. It just was not going to do good in that matchup. And that's okay. Uh, we can go through my pile of cards first if you want. And then, uh... And then do your good deck. Alright. Uh, where'd my pile of cards go? Here we go. Are you within my pile of cards? I am within your pile of cards. Okay, cool. I wonder if it's telling me I don't have a braid because I don't have that a braid. Oh, maybe. That specific Kaladesh a braid? Yeah. From like the one time, or maybe two times we drafted Kaladesh? <laughs> 
Because it's literally the only reason I can... Th- well, maybe yeah, maybe we built, like, a historic deck that required a braid, and I just crafted them. I don't know. Uh, we built something that required a braid. That makes sense. Um, so yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty obvious theme. Everything's meant to be incidental damage. Hopefully just pinging your face like crazy, and untapping, and hitting you for three, and untapping, and whatever. Um, seeing some divide by zeros way earlier or ever would have been helpful in that matchup. Um, cause uh, you know, obviously, was... what's I, I, that? I'm, I'm, you're missing, you know, some, uh, some extra turn cards. Yeah. I, and all runes epiphany probably would have been, would have been a good ad. Um, I think I, I'm trying to remember cause we built these so long ago now. Um, I think I had a burn the house down and decided that that was a non-bow because then I have to kill all my dudes that are pinging you. Um, Except for when the board gets away from you. It's the same reason why you play Wrath of God and creature decks. Yeah. I just have less options for rebuild in this. So I think that's where I was like, oh, fuck, if I kill, you know four of my pinger dudes that I'm in trouble like kind of thing but yeah it would have been nice to see a um an Asari at any point in time um but yeah I mean people can see what it was going for which was fine I think magma opus is just not gonna happen I either have to get there way quicker than I did or um Or I'm only using it for card draw, and there's way better options for card draw than Magma Opus. Agreed. Um, so, yeah. Idea is to yeah. keep the board down and kill you with incidental damage, basically. Um, one of the games, I did significant amounts of damage. So, it, it could work, depending on your matchups. But, all in all, I would say... Don't build this fucking deck. Jason, anything to add? No. No, I, I think just playing the uh, Epiphany would would definitely help. Um, yeah, Burn Magma. House down, I feel like, is kind of key because you still need to be able to... Plus, if they don't, have, if they don't have creatures, that's one of the reason, things I like about burn the house down is if they aren't putting up threats, make demons. Yeah, yeah, you've got a plan B. Like it's not just five damage to everything; it's five damage, or it's three demons that, when they die, deal incidental damage. Right. So that would help. Yeah, and. Again, I built this so long ago, I was like, why is Galaseth even in here? And it's like, oh yeah, because you can tap thingies to play spells, with which you should have many. Like, Jesus Christ. So yeah. Um, and then sideboard is a little bit of everything. Um, in theory, I should be running out my hands, so teaching of the archaics is a little less bad. And then, um, you know, sculpting and getting rid of big things. And if I got no dudes, then mascot exhibition to try to get some dudes. Um, yeah. All right, let's go to Jason's actually good deck. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is a fine starting build. Yeah, and I would say too, if you're looking for something. I think that deck's fairly cheap to build as well. I think most of that is. As I say, when you get to my decks is when you don't get to have fun cheaply. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I th- I'm i sure mine... I'm just going to double check really quick. I don't even think there's... Galazeth is a rare... Oh, you had rares. You had some mythics, but nothing... Yeah, Galazeth is a mythic. Magma Opus really even shouldn't even be in the deck, so ignore that. And then, yeah, the commands and the Rowans, but, like, I would say of that pile, the only thing that's, like, necessary would be the Nasari. Um, Which is funny, because with your current build, the, uh, there's 
you're playing four uncommons that are worth more than the rest of the deck. Oh, yeah? Oh, the expressive iterations? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I think... $12 each. $12 each. Nutty McGee. That's crazy. But yeah, I mean, the rest of this is... I mean, it's only expensive because you're playing, honestly, digitally, which is interesting because you have to burn that that wild card. Um, well, paper, no, the probably... iteration... No, in it, I was talking about in paper. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, in paper... Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, you couldn't play my deck in paper because the iterations cost too fucking much, but everything else is cheap as shit. Uh, um... That's funny. All right, so now we got. I'm I'm presuming black white vampires with a cleric uh, sub theme. Cleric with a vampire sub theme. Fair. Um, voice of the blessed is just so fucking good. In, in fact, Soren and Edgar are the only things that are vampire non cleric. Yeah. Because cleric life bond. Is a vampire cleric. Yeah, cleric's light bond is so good. So is uh yeah your Markov Mark purifier. purifier. Yeah. Um, Markov purifier is really good. If you're gonna be on the black white vampire tip, that's uh, it's a great card. Yeah. Definitely want to refill your hand and the whatnot. Um. Yeah, I dig it. It's kind of my sword was in there too. Is he's he's a lot of just make the vampire. Oh, did he live? <laughs> Draw a card. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I actually have most of this. Okay. I don't have any Sorens. Um, but the rest of this would be very cheap for me to make and play around with. Um, anything you wanted to change? Anything you were like... I mean, it all seemed to run and work just fine, but anything that you were like, eh? Uh, the Intrepid Adversaries... The Soren and the Edgar, all that could be something else. Yeah. Especially the adversary as a one of, I guess it could be. Well, and the adversary is just, I, I think that's all I owned at the time. Okay, yeah, I mean, that is mythic. That, that, that might just be all that I own still, since I probably didn't want to burn. Yeah, mythics on it, yeah. Mythics on it, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I own two now, and, and I was just like, yeah, no. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> yeah, and I don't think, I mean, you definitely, what you have as four ofs, you want to keep as four ofs, and what you have as two ofs, I don't know that you want to, I mean, I guess you could bump something up to three, but I don't know. Well, I think the Intrepid Adversary was because I don't own the fourth meat hood massacre nor would i want the fourth meat hood massacre right right i'm very high on meat hood massacre i love that card it's a great board wipe um in the right matchup it's a great two drop yeah yeah if you can block how you want yeah uh i was playing against a control deck that just was killing everything, and I was just like, "Meet it, Massacre." I don't, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, kill what you want. <laughs> um, depending on your matchup too, it's a great one-sided board wipe. I mean, if your stuff's big enough, you don't care about, you know, three in the board because you've got fives. I mean, done that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, especially with Voice of the Blessed, like no fucks given. Dope. Yeah, I'd like this deck. I would definitely play this deck. You have played this deck yeah. in, in in other variations of this deck. Very true. I'm a big fan of uh, Black White Life Gain. But yeah, when you were talking about you didn't want to do the, the, the Life Gain, and this is my Life Gain deck. Like, this is my, I'm all in on gaining life. This is it. That's so interesting. All right. Well, next round oh, was... you'll get stuck with my White Life Gain deck, but. But I also thought it was funny that my spirit deck does tend to gain me more life. Well, it's not that it gains me more life. It's just I take less damage. Yeah. With the with the spirit deck. So I, I'm gaining... If I gain 12 life with the spirit deck, I'm not also taking 20 damage. Where with the cleric deck, it's... 
I'm at 30. You've hit me for 50. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Love Jason. Yeah. <laughs> well, but and, and but that's what my life game decks. Every time I have a life game deck, it's the all right. I'm struggling to get to 28 life, but that's because I'm taking a pounding life total yeah, because, wise. Yeah, and I'm gaining it all back. Yeah. Where with the spirit deck is just oh you're not doing anything and I'm gaining three or four life a turn. Yeah, or you're like, your swings are not profitable because you can't get over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, super dope. Um, if you'd like to see Jason's point of view on any of these videos, please go check out, check out Tybalt Gaming. Um, he's listed in the bottom of our channel as a friend of the channel, so that's an easy way to find him. Um, and then you can kind of see his side of things and... Um, when he's feeling frisky, he also does some drafts and things like that that you can see. I haven't um, done that in a while. No, nah, no. But it might go back. You never know. Yeah. Um, Although I've been, do I'm gonna be starting a seven days to die series here shortly. Yay! I think I'm gonna do a nomad, where outside of a, oh, excuse me. Outside of a trader, I can set up a base-ish thing so I can have, like, my crafting benches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But then, literally, I don't get to stay in any one place for more than the night. Oh, just one night? And then you gotta keep yeah. going? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, hard, like, actual nomad-ish of just, this is cleared. I can... I can cower here, or I can keep fighting here, but that way I have to clear POIs every day. Yeah, because you have to have somewhere to sleep for the night. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be interesting on the higher level of ward nights. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it, probably, it shouldn't be too bad if I... Because there's lots of cement-based buildings now. So if I okay. get into some place early enough, I, and I can make it so that way they have to follow, like, a pattern. So that way I can, you know, like, stick, you know, stick a gun in, like, oh, you know, shoot a couple. Shouldn't be too bad. But, yeah, like, the first three Horde Knights shouldn't be anything. Yeah, and that then... shouldn't be too bad. But, yeah, then you're going to be like, oh, fuck. But then I guess at you the could... Same time, I only get to use my uh, crafting benches when I go to the trader. Yeah. So, so, yeah, it could be running out of bullets or anything like that. It could be a real and food and all that could get real interesting. Yeah, otherwise I just have to carry everything with me. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm going to be going to the trader effectively twice a day anyway. One to go get a quest and want to go turn in the quest or yeah. turn in the quest and then get I don't think I'm going I, I think I want to keep it like that where I go at least twice so I can pick up food pick up you know and then like also first thing in the morning start a bunch of stuff crafting so that way the next day it's ready or I can pick it up before I I think I'm also going to make it so I can't use quest POIs for the night because then I've, I cleared it for something else. Oh, that seems fair. So you'll have to like get your quest done and then get back out there to find some place to sleep. Yeah. Well, all right. Definitely go check that out. I think seven Yeah, I think days. that'll be hard. Like, people are... There's a lot of people who are now turning the um, feral sense on, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> it's effectively a horde every night because it, as soon as night spawns, they know exactly where you're at and come to kill you. Yeah, I definitely can't do that on a nomad lifestyle. <laughs> and I think the, the the nomad I think will be more interesting than just. All right, bunker up here, fortify it. 
yeah, see if it works. I mean, there's definitely videos in a place for that. Like, does this work, you know, as a base? But, yeah. It's kind of less entertaining, for sure. Well, all right, Brysonians, like, share, and subscribe. I promise to build a, or to bring a uh, less bad deck next week, hopefully. <laughs> we always appreciate the love and support. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.